Faith versus victimhood. You know, uh, we talk about discipleship and this is the idea that we become followers of Christ. And I think part of the journey of discipleship is a growing up in Christ effectively. And, and one of the biggest growing ups we have to do, uh, no matter what age we are, uh, we can be, you know, 4, 14 or 84. Uh, but when life throws tough things at us, you know, or as the old saying goes, when, when life throws lemonades at you, you make lemonade. So when, when, when life throws lemons at you, you make lemonade. Uh, I think that um, learning to understand that life is life and we don't have really good answers as to why most things that go wrong happen to us and sometimes we don't even have answers to why good things happen you know why is it that I had the good fortune to find a wife who, who has loved me for 25 years I don't know you know why is it that my child um, was born uh, without any kind of physical disability whereas another child is born with physical disability you know there, there are some theological answers to that but none of them are very satisfying the truth is we don't have the answers to a lot of those why questions so we, we we're left with a choice we're either going going to choose to believe that that God is good and therefore not doing it to us you know it's not God who is making me sick it's not God who gave me my my financial problems it's not God who who caused illness in my body you know but what I what I do want to do is believe that God is with me in my infirmities God is with me in my struggles um, God is helping me raise my child with a disability God is strengthening me in my financial challenges you know these are these are mature our positions to hold. This is what it means to grow up um, and to, you know, Paul said, you know, um, I, I don't preach meat, I preach milk uh, when he was speaking to some of the churches because he said, you weren't ready for meat, you were, you were still immature in your faith. And and it's really, really challenging. But this, as a as a person walking with people, journeying with people, was, was always the biggest challenge is that at some point we have to transition from blaming God for everything that's wrong and feeling victimized to deciding, well, I'm going to hold God to the promises of Scripture, which is that He is with us in our adversity. And, you know, don't take my word for it. Go and read the Scriptures throughout the Old Testament and the New. You know, God never spared people struggle and infirmity. Goodness knows. In fact, you know, you read most of the stories of the people of God and what defines them is that their lives were filled with struggle, you know. And, you know, the cynics uh, would say, well, there you go. That's why I don't believe in God because the people of God are always filled with struggle. But I'll tell you this, I've journeyed uh, with people, uh, you know, in life and I've ne not yet met a person whose life wasn't filled with struggle of some kind. Different for everybody, but struggle nonetheless. You know, maybe they were successful financially and had no financial problems, but their marriages failed, you know. Uh, you know, maybe their marriage was brilliant, um, but their finances were a mess. You know, uh, maybe they were brilliant athletes themselves, but they had a child who had physical disability. You know, the, the struggles of life uh, affect us all in different ways. So if you think somehow that you've been targeted for special treatment because your life is especially hard, uh, forgive me for being so brutally blunt, but mm, you're not. You're not being targeted. Uh, welcome to the club. Uh, life is challenging. And, and sure, I would admit that some people seem to get a much rougher deal than others. Um, on the outside, but you don't know what's going on, on the inside. You know, I, I know some of the most beautiful people I've ever met. Boy, their struggles in their mental health are, are really tough, you know, but on the outside, they are just gorgeous. And the world, you know, is lining up to to, uh, to flatter them and, and to, uh, you know, celebrate them. So what do we do with this? Well, we have to make a choice. And this is, faith is a choice, you know. Um, can it be that simple? Yes, it, it really is, you know. Faith is not having the absence of doubt. Faith is not um, having all the answers to everything. Faith is choosing to believe that God is good and, and choosing to trust in the, the story that, that God has laid out, that, that his love was for, so, for us was so profound that he even came amongst us in human form. Uh, so as to walk with us in our struggles and to ultimately set us free. Um, and, and, and that is the, the Christian hope. You know, it's not all just struggle. We, we hold to this hope that when Jesus appears again, returns, however you want to turn it, uh, refer to it, we are going to be set free from suffering, hardship. All the things that plague us now are going to be gone. They're going to be finished. They're going to be set right. And you and I will have perfect love uh, in perfect peace, with perfect health. And um, that is the Christian hope. That is, that's what we're longing for, waiting for. The whole of creation is groaning for that day. Um, and so we are, we are people in the midst of our struggle that hold on to hope. And we have faith to believe that the good God has good plans and a good future for us. That's growing up 
in the church. That's discipleship, that's faith. Now, you may not be there and you may have objections to that. That's okay. Uh, you know, we're all on the journey to that. Um, but that's what, that's what Jesus was talking about, you know, and that's what Paul was talking about. That's what all the disciples talked about when they said, you know, that we are becoming conformed into the image of Christ. Um, you know, Jesus um, suffered our, um, our life as well. He, he had loved ones die. He saw sickness and... But in response to all of our sufferings, he brought healing, you know, he brought peace, he brought hope. And, and that's the story that as Christians we live with, that even in the midst of all of our struggles, God knows and, and understands and has a plan to free us from it all. Okay, I hope that was a little bit helpful. Uh, we're not victims. Never, ever are we victims. We are a people that trust and have faith in the living God who has good plans for us in the midst of our struggles. All right, bless you. Bye.